Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F86 F Sabre and we're looking at emergency mid-air engine restart. There are technically two methods of doing this and we're going to show what we would consider the main method. So, first of all, we need to fake an engine stall or an engine shutoff. I shall do that now. Welcome back. So that is a genuinely spool down engine and you can see if I advance my throttle, the engine is stead. She's still pumping fuel in, but there's nothing we can do to to uh, actually fly. We are actively paused and we will undo the pause now. The first thing we need to do is throttle back, press the end button on your keyboard to move it into the off position. That is now throttle off. We now need to establish a decent glide slope of around 185 knots. You can see we are blessed with lots of altitude and speed at the moment. So I'm um, going to do that now. Make sure our gear are in, our flaps are up and our speed brakes are in. Okay, we're a little above, but we are just about within tolerance, so we'll stay there for now. Next, we need to check on this panel here that our engine master switch is on there, and it is. Battery is up to battery, and it is. And our generator is on, and it is. Next, engine tachometer. We want to make sure that we are windmilling the engine between 24 and 34% speed. We can see that we're currently at 33, so we're at the upper end of the speed that we can use, but it's within limits. We do not want to go too slow because it won't catch, or too fast because it will also cause problems. Next, emergency ignition switch on. And we're going to go over to emergency fuel. On. Next, we're going to press the home key, just maintain our glide. It's going to be key. Next, press the home key to put the throttle in the outboard position we can hear the engine starting to catch or trying to catch at least now press the home key again to move to idle there uh, good and she's caught power up check the tachometer make sure we move into a decent regime we have and the last important thing we're going to do is turn off our emergency igniter because we'll burn it out like that the manual does not say to go out of emergency fuel system so we're going to stay in emergency fuel system and uh, continue and go land that's all we want to show it's what we consider the main emergency air start procedure for the f86 i hope that was useful and see you later sounds good